right, here we are again with another metalworking video. Uh, putting some beads in a floor pan for a packer. And these floor pans, the beads cross over one another. And they should have a nice uh, cross section that really doesn't show the beads crossing, but, but has a nice imprint, but not seeing the line here. And trying to get that on a full match type machine, or this is my old riveter that I turned into a reciprocating hammer. Um, what I'm doing is using dies, a wooden die like this. Now that's not what's under there right now. What's under there right now is just the other half of the U-shape. So we're going to run them up to within about an inch of where they cross. And then I'm going to have to stop and freehand this. I'll, I'll actually take this to the bottom of the, uh, of the piece of metal and freehand across that section and end up with something that looks like that because this fits down into it. So anyway, this first part of it, and then I'll probably stop the video and, and make a video number two. Uh, we're just going to go from here to here and then we're going to back the machine off and we'll go from here to here. Um, we'll do the same thing here, 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 and there. And uh, then we'll start doing the cross um, we'll just see how this goes. This is a lot to keep track of when you're working by yourself. Um, what I'm doing here is keeping the fence up against here. And um, you'll see it shakes your hand up pretty good. And uh, then tighten up the bottom. And, uh, it's kind of a feel thing on the bottom. Right? I guess you can see from there, the fence is actually clamped to the piece of metal. And uh, just running alongside here. It's exactly two inches from here to the center of that. So I know to set this two inches away. We're going to stop now. I'm going to go over, move my fence over so I can get these two. We'll do those and then I'll come back and we'll do a video on uh, using the cross die. 